Good morning, friends. Welcome to the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. I am Kerry Green. I'm a retired pastor who is on a mission. Really, I am on a mission. I want to help you build your faith up in strength, in a vibrant, passionate way so that you are able to be the Christ follower that you want to be. And in addition to that, I want to help you or others who you may know build a business, whether it's part-time or full-time, that can enable you to change your world and the world around you. All that can be found at livebuildchange.com. Now, this morning mindset is an element of what I'm about that is aimed at that first portion to enable you to live your faith in a vibrant and authentic way. And the reason I do this morning mindset every single morning is because I think it's that vital. Every day, we've got to get our mind right. We've got to get ourselves soaked in the truth of God, which really is the only answer to this issue of living your faith in an authentic way. In yesterday's episode, if you haven't heard it, you need to go back and hear it so that you can recognize what I'm talking about here. But I told you a story about a time when I felt most fearful. It's a story from my childhood. And I brought up this idea that fear is something that we create in our own lives. And I told you I'm going to show you from the Bible how that's true. Now, let's recognize something before we get into the scripture, that fear is a God-given emotion. In other words, it is something God has given us to serve us for our benefit at times. But nevertheless, I believe from the scriptures we can see it's something we generate. And we generate it by what we are believing about the circumstance. Now, if you go back to my story yesterday, I told you about how this bum came out of a building and scared me. Well, it's because I believed at that moment that he was the boogeyman my brother had said he was and that he was in some way going to harm me. He was, I was in danger because of him. I was believing something. And in that case, it was something that wasn't true. The man just kind of wandered off, stumbled off. He didn't say a word to us, didn't even look at us, really. But there are times in life where things happen that cause fear in us, where the fear is based on something we are believing that is true. And the passage I want to read from today is an example of that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 8 beginning in verse 22. It says, One day Jesus got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they set out. And as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in danger. So the truth is, they were in danger. And they went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said to them, this is where we have to pay attention, he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, who then is this, that he commands even winds and water? And they obey him. So do you see that Jesus pointed out that the reason you are afraid is because you don't have faith in this circumstance. In another of the Gospels where it describes this situation, it characterized Jesus as saying, Oh, you of little faith, why were you afraid? And faith really is not some mysterious ethereal thing. It is belief. And he's saying, you did not have the right kind of belief. You didn't have belief in the truth in this situation. You had belief in something else that was generating this fearful response. Tomorrow, we're going to dig into it a little bit more. So join me on the Morning Mindset Edition. Mindset.